Witamy w ambasadzie RP w Londynie. This is Portland Place in Marylebone, one of London's grandest 18th century streets. It was laid out by Robert and James Adam. Robert and James Adam were Scottish neoclassical architects who developed the Adam style. The street owes its extraordinary width to the original position of Foley House to the south, built by Lord Foley of Foley. And the breadth of that house meant he wanted to keep views of the Marylebone Fields to the north. Portland Place was paid for by the MP John Elwes, and Elwes was a reputed eccentric and something of a miser, and it is said inspired the Charles Dickens character Ebenezer Scrooge. Since the 18th century, Portland Place has remained the home of peers, diplomats and politicians. The cultural and economic relationship between Poland and the UK stretches right back until the 11th century. But it wasn't until the Polish Foreign Ministry bought 47 Portland Place in 1921 that the first Polish Embassy in the UK was created. The house was uh, purchased from Lady Markham and in, externally had many of the original design elements, but inside uh, they had changed some of the original Adams design. The ground floor was decorated in the Louis XIV style um, and featured decorative gilding and panelling and rondos on the ceiling. And one typically exuberant example is this, uh, the Kaczorowski room, which was originally the Markham's boudoir. The first floor drawing room was refurbished by the Markham's in an Art Nouveau Japanese style. Featuring decorative elements from the Edo period, it remains a rare survival of this kind of decorative set piece interior in this country. Between the wars, this room played host to a number of artists and musicians who performed here, making it a social hub for life in London. During the war, it was the storeroom for a number of artworks and artefacts that had been taken out of Poland for safekeeping. The building became the headquarters for the Polish government in exile, and it was from here that they directed their war effort. Operatives in Poland sending information back here facilitated the creation of a document um, published on the 10th of December 1942 that was the first to record what we now know as the Holocaust. In 1945, the government recognised the Soviet-controlled Polish Republic, withdrawing its recognition of the Polish government in exile. This embassy then becomes the official diplomatic post of the People's Republic of Poland. 1989 saw the fall of the communist regime in Poland, and it ushered in a new era of diplomatic and cultural relations between the UK and Poland. And all that history has been processed through this building. The thing is, it was taken away by the communist regime. They kept the eagle, white eagle, but they removed the crown. So, uh, so it has no links with the kingdom of Poland. So there was the tapestry, and then uh, there was this one, one of the interns, he spotted that uh, they painted the crown. Like, so that's, that's the story, yeah. Thank you. <laughs>